that moment just told me that I could fall in love again. If I felt this kind of genuine, general love, that I can fall in love again. And I just realized, I'm like, damn, Sin, look at you out here dating a new person. And you like them. So I just came from the orthodontist to do a checkup on my retainers to see how my teeth are doing. And everything's great. I've been wearing these things 24-7 since then I got my braces off. So my teeth have not shifted. And the dentist can tell when you don't wear your retainers because if they have a hard time getting them off, you got a hard time putting them on, they know when you're not wearing your retainers. Big C was wearing her retainers. So for that, now I don't have to wear them as much anymore. Basically, only when I go to sleep. I should wear them. So, like half the day, even if that. So, But I'm just so used to wearing these now. I'm probably going to keep them in. I'm just probably going to keep wearing them the way I be wearing them. It's not going to matter if I wear them a lot or not at this point. As long as I make sure I wear them when I'm going to sleep. And we good. So, my appointment only lasted literally five minutes. So that's great. So I can get to the rest of my day. So now what I'm about to do, I'm about to take y'all to Belal with me. And I'm going to show y'all Belal. If y'all know what Belal is, y'all about to see what Belal is. So yeah. Be right back. That's Canada. That's the bridge, the ambassador bridge that goes from Detroit to Canada. And here's Detroit. It's Big Santa Boss and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today I'm out here at Belle Isle. It's a beautiful sunny day in Detroit, Michigan. I think it's about, right now it's probably like 59 or 60 degrees or something. It's supposed to get up to like 73. It's gonna be a perfect day. And I think after today, it's just about to get real cold and cloudy. So I think today was the perfect time, the perfect day to get my thoughts off down here at the water with you guys. So the title of today's video, as you saw, was or is, you can and you, you can and you will find love again. So with that, I'm bringing y'all a story time. So I was on a date with someone. So I'm dating someone new, right? So about a month ago, we came down here to Belle Isle for a cute little date. You know, just sat by the water and talked and just chilled out. So, I had an epiphany on my date. Yes, I did. 
I had an epiphany as I was sitting next to this new person. So I'm just staring off into the water, just in my own thoughts. And a strong feeling of love just covered my entire being. I can't really explain it, but I just felt love in that moment. Like all types of love, like love for everything, love for the new person, love for me, just love in general. I can't describe it, but in that moment, I just knew that one day I was gonna fall in love again. And I hadn't felt that in a long time, so let me backtrack a little bit. It's been a while since I've dated. It's been, so the last relationship I was in was back in 2017. And that lasted for about almost two years, a year and a half. But me and that person still kept in contact since the time we broke up so all together about three years I've been in like a whirlwind if you will yeah so it's been a while since I've actually dated and took anyone serious since my last relationship so for me now dating <laughs> Let me just say, I had to force myself. <laughs> I had to force myself to actually start going out with this person because I was just so closed off to the idea of dating. I didn't want to talk to anybody. Dating is so, it's exhausting. And people suck. People are weird. And just the whole getting to know somebody new process, it's just... It's tiring. I don't want to deal with that. I was fine for for a long time. I was fine in my little bubble, not talking to anybody, not taking anybody serious. But we all want to connect with somebody, whether we say we don't want a relationship or not. Yeah, we might not want a relationship at that specific moment, but people are wired to connect with other people. After a long time of not wanting to interact with anyone, I finally came around and was like, damn, I'm ready to meet my person. But I didn't want to date because I hate dating. So, so anyway, I didn't date too many people within the last couple of years, just because I'm really particular about who approaches me. I'm particular about who I give my time to, so. I pray to God, I'm like, Lord, the playing field is real bleak out here and I don't wanna waste my time with nobody. So whoever you send me, don't send me nobody if they're not my person because I ain't got time to waste. I know what I want and that's just that. So nobody really came along for real and I'm like, damn, it's getting lonely. But I did say I didn't want to talk to anybody unless that person was my person or the interaction was going to be fulfilling. You know what I'm saying? So, then I met this person not too long ago. So, we've been going out not too long, maybe a couple of months. And so, yeah, we're on this date at Belle Isle. and I look out onto the horizon I look out onto the water I'm just in my own thoughts and then it hit me just a feeling of love just hit me not saying that I was in love with the person that was next to me not saying I was falling in love in that moment I'm not saying that I'm just saying, after a long time of 
of not believing that I will find another person, not believing that anybody was worthy, not believing that I was even worthy of finding love or connecting with a new person. And then just dating people and realizing how whack they were. Just after being discouraged for a while, to feel that feeling that I felt, In that moment, I just knew a shift was happening. Things were changing. After all that time of me thinking that I would never get past what I went through, in that moment, I realized that I'm past all of the shit that I went through. And I felt open again. I didn't feel, I haven't felt open in years. So, oh my God, I think I just hit a B. Ugh. Anyway, so after all this time, I'm sitting next to this person, I'm like, damn, I feel good. Like, I just felt the love of God, the love of everything just flowing through me. And in that moment, I realized I can fall in love again. I can fall in love again. Whether it be with this person I'm talking to now or somebody else in the future. I just know it's possible. So for those of you who don't have any hope in finding your person, for those of you who are discouraged with the current dating field right now, cause trust me when I tell you, it's crazy out here. Yeah, for those of you who are discouraged about dating, for those of you who are discouraged about whether you'll find someone new, if you're coming out of a relationship or a situation, whatever, if you're coming out of something and you're exhausted with just feeling bad or feeling sad, it's not going to last forever. You will connect with somebody who's on your level at the perfect time. And let me tell you how I know that. You're gonna know about how it feels. You're gonna know because you guys' interaction, you guys' interaction will be, it'll be easy. It'll be easy. It won't feel rushed. You won't feel any kind of pressure. It's gonna feel fun. It's gonna feel light. And you both are just gonna understand each other from your own perspectives. Like nothing will have to be explained for real because you guys are already on the same level. You guys met on the same plane, on your own. You, you feel what I'm saying? Yeah, it's gonna feel, it's gonna feel easy and fun. And we put a lot of pressure, we put a lot of pressure on titles. I feel like we put a lot of pressure on titles. Like, oh, this person is supposed to be my girlfriend. They're supposed to be my boyfriend. We're supposed to be in a relationship. We're supposed to get married. We're gonna do this, we're gonna do that. And my viewpoint is like, when I meet somebody new, like, okay, I know I wanna meet my person, eventually be in a relationship with them. But when I meet this person, I don't think like, oh, you're gonna be the one. We're gonna do this. We're gonna be this together. No, I approach it from a standpoint of not having any ownership over the person, not having any ownership over the situation. I go into things as, oh, this is just an experience. I'm experiencing this person. 
I'm on a journey with this person right now. And if it leads to something stronger than that, if it leads to something where we have a title, then yes, we could take it there with ease. Now don't get me wrong, you wanna know what you're getting into. Like y'all both wanna have the same intentions on what you guys want in the long run. Eventually, like if you eventually wanna be in a relationship, then yeah, that has to be mutual, that has to be spoken of, that has to be said. But I'm really big on building good foundations with people. I wanna be cool with you. I wanna be friends with you first. You know? I wanna make sure we both understand each other. I wanna make sure we're clear on who we are as individuals. You guys, look at this. Hello. Oh shit, y'all niggas, they about to come say hello to me. Should I play dead or what? I think I'm just about to mind my business you know, and keep talking. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna just mind my business and keep talking. That moment just told me that I could fall in love again. If I felt this kind of genuine, general love, then I can fall in love again. And I just realized, I'm like, damn, Sin, look at you out here. They ain't a new person. And you like them. And you're open again, you vibing. I never thought that I would be here again. And I'm here. So I say all that to say, I know the dating, the dating field seems really fucking bleak cause it is, it's, it's real scarce. It's really scarce out here. It's real whack, it's exhausting. I don't like dating because people just suck. And just getting, the whole getting to know you phase, it's exhausting, it really is. But when it's time for you to meet that person, that's just gonna open you up. Not to say you're gonna marry that person or if they're gonna be the person that you end up being with or whatever. There's just gonna come a time where you will be open again. You'll be open to receiving again because my mind, I was telling myself, yeah, I want love again. I want to meet somebody, but there was still, there were still some things that I had to work out within myself. Like I may have felt like I needed another person. And that's why that person didn't come to me. So I thought, but when I met this person that I'm talking to now, I didn't feel like I needed that. I just felt like I was just open to receive whatever was best for me. And I will be okay either way. I'm good by myself. So you meet somebody else who's good by themselves and who's on the same level as you. And it's just beautiful. So, yes. 
to anybody out there who feels like they won't ever meet somebody ever again, to those that feel like they won't meet their person, to those that feel like they'll never be able to date again, I'm telling you, that's not true. If you ever been in love before, you will fall in love again. But I say all that to say, stay optimistic, stay hopeful, keep doing the self work, keep doing the inner work. And that's the thing, everything is working when you don't know it's working. It's so much going on behind the scenes that you have no clue about until it happens. You don't know stuff been working until you see that thing like click like nothing happens overnight. The process doesn't happen overnight, but that shift is what you see. That sudden shift that makes you think that thing happened overnight, but Things always happen over a course of time. That's why you gotta keep pushing. That's why you gotta keep believing. Because one day it's just going to happen. That's the overnight. The process is never overnight. But yes guys, thank you for watching this video. All right, make sure you like this video. Make sure you're subscribed to the channel. And make sure you share this video to someone who may be feeling a little discouraged about their situation discouraged about the future i'm here to tell you the future is now and what you desire it will come to fruition it will happen and you're gonna find your baby daddy you're gonna find your baby mama you're gonna find the love of your life i promise you i promise you i promise you i promise you just stay open and patient Okay. Thank you and I'll see you guys in the next video.